Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, we did the previous video, the OSAP Top 10 2021, and there was one question in task 22 that said there is a way to access the admin area. Of course, if we look here, the admin area, it tells us that admin interface only available from localhost, okay? And then we can use SSRF, and then we remember we have this. There was an entry point here for us. We get the PDF and we can see that it's sent into that server where we can change it. So let's say if we have an NC uh, uh, oops, let's run it in what in use. Uh, it's renting 8,000 uh, no, now let's try to connect to my attack box like we did before, I'm just to do a reminder first before we go to the other flag so 10.174 10 .1 uh, and .104 my p27 now if I go to there, we have this. Uh, you can see what I notice here, that is is connecting this and it's just going to the IP, so it is not doing anything else. Uh, and then we can notice that if I go back to... Let me try to explain to you, so... Oops. If you look here, if we change this ID here, we get an empty, empty files. So, so basically this ID is, it need to be there. It is only one, one PDF document. And then, the idea now of course, if we want to access the, the local host, is of course we go to HTTP uh, localhost and then we go to admin okay now we can see we go into the same damn problem a reason for that because the issue here is this folder exist he just go and download that file so it's no uh, that's what he's doing so we need to break down um, uh, the the connection one way to break the, the connection uh, I notice it uh, someone uh, uh, so what we can do here is not let him to read this part uh, but if you remove this part basically it will not work let's see no file selected so this part need to stay there. One way to to break the the, the 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 to tell him stop connecting, so we can add this the palm. Then again, what the no file selected. Uh, let me open another one because we don't want to have a no file selected. Because now when you when you put this, so the URL when you go back to the server, you will not read this. So you still complain with us. One thing we can see to bypass the uh, URL checking is obfuscating the attack using encoding. So basically, basically to change the codes to their um, hex numbers and decoding and all of that. So. Uh, we can change this pawn to their, their number and then and then we got the flag. I got confused in this uh, in, in this one because this is the first time I learned this trick. Uh, what is it? 
this trick to add in so the server you need to check this part so you need to stop him from looking to this part so he can break down but the server is still checking so the only way is to do obfuscation I think this the post is a very good resource to start I think I need to restart my study there too so this is the the extra flag if I understand it correctly have a good day guys thank you very much